Hello again. Um, a pair of post-World War II Bundeswehr West German paratrooper boots. Um, these nowadays do not have a very good survival rate. Um, purely because of the way the shock absorbing heel is built into the boot. And we'll take a look at it in a minute. These are a pair of UK size sevens. Um, they have leather laces. These have a pair of 1960s British Army DMS boot laces in them. The the eyelets, uh, eyelets that you may find on a pair of modern work boots, in that the metal, the metal holes, they're not they're not like circular eyelets built into the boot. You have various holes for an airflow to get into the boot. You have a cord kind of needle pricked into the tongue devoid of any other markings in the tan leather interior. Really nice heavy quality leather which you would think would last forever but the problem is in the way the soles put together. Now if you look at the sole, the basic plate attached to the boot is rubber. Then you have a one piece rubber sole which considering how old the boots are, there's not very much tread being taken off it. And there's a very good reason for that. They didn't really last the test of time because sandwiched between the one piece rubber sole, as you can see, it's, it's a one piece sole with one piece there. Sandwiched between the two is this kind of shock absorbing section which kind of, it starts there and it goes all the way through to here. It's like a sponge. And as you can see, over time it cracks and goes brittle. So you've got a shock absorber heel section. If we turn it that way, if I press it in, you can see there is, there is quite a lot of giving it, but over the years, it goes really, really crappy and brittle so that once this goes doesn't matter how good a quality of leather is the boots are completely useless so not a good survival rate they should have lasted longer than they do but because of that at the time it was probably what they had but over the period of x amount of years it turns to crap and they don't last very long making the boots nice display pieces but completely unwearable they're not patterned on any wartime boot they were brand new to the bundeswehr in the 1950s 1960s declared surplus in the 70s they found another life not with reenactors because you can't really use them for anything they found another life as walking boots. I can well remember in the 1980s, these post-war boots were being sold for as little as £2.50 to £5. But nowadays, they're not a boot I would suggest you buy to go walking in because the spongy heel is its, is its Achilles heel as it were. Really good quality leather, but that spongy bit, the shock absorber bit, does not stand the test of time and will not last. So if you're buying a pair of these to wear out, outdoors, personally I would say, forget it. Because that section there makes them completely unwearable. Bye for now.